think that that's happening in our front yard, that our front yard is a nursery for white sharks in the Northeast Pacific is an amazing thing. The fact that we're seeing this recovery to me is remarkable. It's a sign that we're doing some things right. So this is an, a, a, an acoustic transmitter. So these are the types that we can dart into a shark's back. It's kind of like an earring. It can be broken into two categories. Sharks bite people for predation reasons, but it, chances are that's not really predation because they don't eat people. Or they might bite people for defensive reasons, and that's very possible too. So a shark may feel threatened by a person and bite them as a warning, but that little bite from a big shark can do a lot of damage. Right now, we have over 100 receivers from Central California all the way down to San Diego that are constantly listening for these sharks along the coast. The information that we're learning from the tagging studies that we're doing and the, the drone surveys and the underwater video footage is currently being used by lifeguards to make better decisions on how to advise the public. Your chances of being bit by a shark are the same likelihoods of winning the Powerball. It's that small. You know, Jaws and Discovery Channel have done a great job at convincing the public this is what sharks are about. And that fear is kind of hard to overcome. And we really have to do a lot more to educate the public about how to share the ocean.